All right, uh, let's look at the homework 7.3, uh, problem number 7. All right, so since we have uh, x squared plus 49, uh, 49 is uh, 7 squared. Uh, we're going to use the uh, substitution. Uh, let um, x be, uh, so 49 is 7 squared, so it's going to be 7 uh, tangent of theta. Right, then we can just go ahead and take the derivative. So we have dx over d theta is equal to uh, seven uh, secant squared of theta. Then uh, we can multiply through by d theta to get uh, dx all by itself. So you have a seven uh, secant squared of theta d theta. All right. So in this case, uh, x is going from uh, 0 to 7. Then uh, now we can th say theta. All right. So when x is 0, tangent of theta is 0, so angle should be 0. All right. So uh, x is 7, so tangent should be 1. So it's uh, uh, pi over 4. All right. So pi over 4 is d theta. So we can rewrite this integral as uh, integral from uh, 0 to uh, pi over 4. Right? Then we have a square root. And x is 7, so 7 squared tangent squared of theta plus 49 is 7 squared, and dx is uh, 7 times secant squared of theta, d theta. All right? So uh, uh, we can uh, rewrite this guy, so uh, this part right here. All right, so 7 squared is, is in common. Pull it out with the square root. You're just going to get 7, all right? And the tangent squared plus 1 is secant squared. With the square root, you get just secant of theta. All right. So uh, what we get is if you clean this up, uh, we're going to have 7 times 7. So 7 squared or 49. Uh, I'm going to just write 7 squared. The integral from uh, 0 to pi over 4. And uh, you have a secant. Uh, cubed of theta d theta. All right. Uh, I'm going to compute the uh, antiderivative integral of uh, secant cubed uh, on the side. So I'm going to do it here. So uh, so if you want to do, I'm going to call this guy i, uh, integral i. Then you have an integral here. And uh, secant cubed, I'm going to write it as a secant of uh, theta times uh, secant squared of theta uh, d theta. Right. I'm going to use the integration by parts. So take the uh, derivative of secant of theta. Uh, we're going to get uh, uh, secant of theta times tangent of theta. And the antiderivative of secant of secant squared would be tangent. So you have a tangent of theta, all right? So using the integration by parts, all right? So first term, uh, uv would be just to multiply diagonally, all right? So you have a secant tangent. So you have a secant of theta times tangent of theta, all right? Minus integral, all right? So we multiply uh, sideways, all right? So we have uh, secant of theta, and then you have a tangent squared of theta, and a d theta. All right. So, but uh, we can rewrite the tangent squared as uh, secant squared of theta uh, minus one. All right. So what we get is here. We have 
uh, secant tangent. So we have um, secant of theta uh, tangent of theta. All right. Then we have minus right, secant times secant squared. So we have a secant cubed of theta. And I'm going to actually split it d theta. All right. Then negative, negative. So it's going to be plus uh, integral uh, secant of theta uh, d theta. All right. But uh, so this is uh, i. So I'm going to put i here and i here. All right. But uh, you notice that uh, we have actually another i. So this is uh, secant cubed, an integral of secant cubed of theta. All right. So I'm going to uh, uh, group those together. So I'm going to add um, uh, i to both sides. So you have a 2i is going to be equal to uh, secant of theta tangent of theta All right, plus, right? And here, we already add i, so this guy's on the other side, right? Seek, antiderivative of secant is natural log of absolute value of uh, secant of theta plus uh, tangent of theta, right? And then uh, plus some constant uh, c. All right, then actually, uh, maybe I should, let's see, maybe I'm, I'm going to, uh, hold off the C for now. Then I'm going to divide through by uh, 2 so that the I is going to be simply 1 half times uh, secant of theta times tangent of theta plus natural log of absolute value of secant of theta plus tangent of theta. Right. Then I'm going to put plus c because it, it's an uh, indefinite integral. All right. Now uh, we can just do, so we already found the antiderivative of secant cubed to theta. So I'm going to put that in. So this is going to be, all right, so 7 squared. All right. Then uh, you have a 1 half, so it's a, I'm going to put 2 there. All right. Then I'm going to put uh, secant of theta, tangent of theta, plus natural log of absolute value of secant of theta, plus tangent of theta. Then you're going from 0 to pi over 4. All right. Then we just have to, uh, you know, evaluate that. So this is going to be, uh, so right here. All right. So uh, 7 squared over 2, right? And plug in pi over 4, right? Secant of pi over 4 would be, let's see, cosine of pi over 4 is 1 over square root of 2. Then secant is a reciprocal, so this is a square root of 2. And a tangent of pi over 4 is 1, so um, times 1, right? Plus we have a natural log of absolute value of secant of pi over 4 is, as we said, the square root of 2. And a tangent, so it's going to be plus 1. All right. Then we have uh, minus, all right, and we plug in 0. All right. Uh, since tangent of 0 is actually 0, so secant of 0, tangent of 0 is 0. And uh, if you plug in, uh, let's see, secant of 0 is 1, because cosine of 0 is 1, and the tangent of 0 is 0. So it's a natural log of 1, which is, um, I'm going to write it, but the natural log of 1 would be 0. Actually, I'm going to just erase it. So uh, if you plug in 0, it's actually all zeros. All right, so we have that. So what you get is, uh, maybe I should multiply it out, so it's uh, 7 squared. So 49 over 2, then you have a square root of 2 plus a natural log of absolute value of a square root of 2 plus 1. All right. 
So that's the value of the definite integral given. All right. So uh, let's type it in. All right. So what we got was uh, 49 over 2. Then uh, parentheses. Uh, square root of 2 uh, plus natural log of uh, square root of 2 uh, plus 1. We don't need a uh, absolute value sign because this is a, already a positive quantity. All right, so uh, let's submit. Submit for testing. All right, uh, it came back and it looks like we got this one correctly. All right. That's it. I hope that uh, uh, this was clear.